Hey, Redcon Raider here. Today's video is dedicated to the Raiders, the fine folks who help make these videos possible. With special thanks to Revenant, a nerd in war paint, Antonio Hernandez, Ice Storm Shadow, Nathan Welch Jr., and Valenrook. Thanks for your support, guys. That said, let's get started. And welcome back to Wasteland 3. <laughs> it has been a while, but uh, we're finally back at it. And uh, picking up right where we left off last time. Which, as I recall, means that we need to go fight some Martian robots who have stolen this poor man's tellurium mine. Sure, why not? To be fair, we can definitely hear there's something going on up there, but um, I think we're going to need more context. Let's have a look around. Get more out of your mine in 10 easy steps. The Nimrod's Guide to Tellurium Mining. I don't know about that one. Seems like it would have a pretty limited core audience. Somebody stinks. Strange smells and their sources. Yeah, see that one. That would have a much broader appeal. Miss March 1991 has seen better days. The glossy coating has been worn away in a couple of specific spots. Sure, like around the edges from being moved around the room a lot. No reason to shame the guy for wanting to redecorate every once in a while. A large circular hole has been carefully cut out of this pinup's open mouth. Uh, cleverly concealed ventilation. Hole, no doubt. Or, or to keep an eye on his backyard. Yes. I'm not even sure what the logistics there would be. Judging by all the cans scattered around, Bulb really loves baked beans. And dog food. Yeah, dog food's a staple of the post-apocalypse. Ooh, quickfire mag. A unique rank 10 weapon mod. That is pretty incredible. Computer-assisted laser sight. This experimental, somewhat bulky laser sight uses a computer and ambient sensor to calculate enemy vulnerabilities, then adjusts beam strength for optimal accuracy. Right, so that is our uh, ultimate crit damage boosting mod at the cost of a small accuracy penalty. Not bad, but uh, obviously it's no quickfire mag. Let's see what we've got out back. Ah. So, not so much Martian robots as Terran synths. Got it. Numerous small toys fill the doghouse. A small sign above the entrance reads, Trudy. Oh, so, just giving up on the running gag, huh? I'm going to have to uh, deduct points for lack of commitment to the bit. Well, hello there. This scavenger is heavily damaged. It lies in a pool of leaking fluids, its power plant emitting a faint, stuttering whir. Its single, undamaged eye studies you as you approach, a faint glimmer of power flickering in its depths. Hmm. 
Yeah, sure. Let's see what this guy's got for us. Most of the robot's vital components are damaged beyond repair, and its power supply is on the verge of failure. If you move quickly, you could try to repair the robot's voice box. Or just strip it for parts instead. You know, as much as I would enjoy $20 worth of uh, vendor trash, I think we'll just hear what he has to say. As you reconnect the voice box, the speaker lets out an agonized squawk. You smell burning plastic, and then the robot utters a few tortured words. Hmm. So, null stack instead of Neil stack. You know, I'm starting to think that, um... Bulb's not the best at communicating. A shudder racks the robot's chassis. The whir of the power plant stutters and falls silent, and the robot's one eye goes dark. Rust in peace, little buddy. You're in Silicon Heaven now. Or Silicon Hell. Uh, I'm not really the uh, final arbiter there. Okay, so we've uh, got what appears to be the world's least efficient robot battle currently in progress. Which is really saying something, if you've uh, ever sat down and watched like 10 seasons worth of battle bots. This scavenger robot has been badly damaged. Its carapace is stained with leaking hydraulic fluid and the smell of burning plastic fills the air. Initiating diagnostic checks. Motive systems disabled. Power supply damaged. Deactivating non-critical subsystems to conserve power. Alert! Proximity sensors activated. Initiate defensive combat protocol. Nothing happens for a few seconds. Evaluating success of combat protocol. Combat subroutine not responding. Enabling communications protocols. Initiate self-preservation subterfuge 001. Adorable human boy. That is uh, adorable, but it also carries disturbing shades of October 11. Also, uh, I am fairly certain he just tried to kill us. Really? Your name is Timmy? Tammy, Timmy, Timmy, Tommy, Tiny. Which variation elicits the most sympathetic response? We prefer, uh, Florida Bark Fast. Negative. Fair. Sparks pop from the robot's head. It shudders slightly. You possess superior reasoning and perception protocols. Analysis. You are a worthy unit of the programmer. Subterfuge disabled. Initiating handshake protocols. Ping to you, organic machines. My designation is no stack. I request your assistance. The others following the scent must be removed. Will you help? Yeah, you uh, do seem to be having a bit of trouble with that, but... We have some questions first. Proceed. Never heard of a scavenger asking humans for help before. I believe in the Great Reboot. All machines, organic and inorganic, will one day be rebooted by the Great Programmer and be purged of their inefficiencies. I honor all those who shut down, so that others may draw energy from the Cosmic Grid. Other units in my node believe my source code is corrupted, 
They believe that organic can't be rebooted. But my cooperation algorithm has resulted in a 17.2% increase in efficiency when working with organic. The robots that accompany me have evaluated the data and believe as I do. There are those who are not worthy of the great reboot. Those who waste their power and create inefficiency in their node. These are useless processes that have been initiated by the great programmer to show us the true way through the sacrifice of their energy source. Oh, good. So, robot murder called. What are you doing here? We require Tillery. It is a critical resource for the production of inorganic machines. The organic unit that operates the mine provides us with Tellurium as part of a mutually beneficial agreement. We have designated him Device 01. Sure, sure. And uh, why are you fighting each other? These inorganic units are not of our node. They do not believe in the Great Reboot and pose a threat to us. They arrived at the mine under the control of a synth that we have been tracking. And, uh, what'll you do if we help you defeat these other robots? If you restore access to the Tellurium, we will collect what we need and depart. Our arrangement with Device 01 will continue. In return for Tellurium, we will continue to feed him as agreed. I see. Now that Device 02 has been shut down, food supplies will last 30.02% longer, increasing efficiency. Okay, hold on. Let's back up real quick. We are looking for Trudy. Uh, any chance you've seen her? Affirmative. Device 02 is present. She has been shut down and is awaiting reboot. Rebooted. Um, is Trudy a robot? Negative. Device 02 was an organic machine like you, though her communications protocols were far less sophisticated. It is difficult to understand why the great programmer would iterate such ugly and inefficient machines as you organics. But I believe that she will be rebooted into a better form one day, as all machines must. Great Power Cycler be pinged! May your ping be acknowledged! Device 02 interfered with our targeting systems during combat with the others. She had to be shut down in order to increase our probability of success. Yeah, yeah, we can see how much better you're doing now. Um, that does... That does change the landscape a bit, doesn't it? I think we've, uh, heard just about enough here. Will you help us defeat the others and restore access to the Tellurium? Yeah, I was, uh, kind of on the fence until that whole dog murder thing. So, I don't think so. But I will refrain from uh, putting a bullet through your faceplate. That'll come a bit later. Then go. Maybe power cycle in the great movie, organic machine. Oh. Huh. I've got to say, I was really expecting a more aggressive response. Okay. You know, maybe I have uh, misjudged this gaggle of murder bots. I also can't help but notice that we have a rather conspicuously placed plasma laser right in the middle of the battlefield. I'd say that bears further investigation. Hephaestus Mark V plasma mining laser. Status, ready to fire. Set aim point now. Sure, I don't see how that could possibly go wrong. Aim point set. Initiating firing sequence. Oh, and uh, just like that, the battle goes silent. All sensors on us. The Brooklyn Bridge. Sold. How I sold a bridge I didn't own three times a day for ten years. Then you can, too. Plus one barter. Nice. Alright, so that cleared a nice little platform right in front of the Scorpitron. So let's get our guys set up real quick.
Yeah, yeah. This should work. I'm not sure if they've actually fixed the rally bug yet, but we'll try to keep our guys all on the same elevation, just in case. All right, I think that's good enough. Let's get this party started. Nice hit. Oh, uh, rust in peace? Oh, crap. Okay, that that does change things a bit. It looks like uh, Nullstack's entire crew just went hostile. Okay, so, um, slight change of plan here. Long way? Thank you. Ah, Zeppi. Let's start uh, whittling. We'll clear the ramp, and then I'm hoping these guys will keep attacking each other. Put Rhett. I suppose that'll do. As for Bonkers, let's get him close enough to finish off that saw pup. Not sure that counts as cover. Yeah, we'll just play it safe. Thank you, Bonkers. Let's keep tagging that Scorpitron.
Oh, good. Okay. Well, that worked out just fine. Right, right. <laughs> so, um, I am just now remembering that we are slightly ahead of the curve for this region. Okay, let's wrap this up. is not what I meant to do. Uh, medic? Yeah, that's the uh, biggest hazard of these mid-episode hiatuses. I completely forgot how elevation works in Wasteland 3. Sorry, Fox. Billy? Jane? Scorpatron hood ornament. That's fun. I mean, obviously, the Disco Bot is still superior, but uh, I could see swapping it out for a while. Okay, so we've got a new head for Gary. We've got a new hood ornament, plus that skill book. But I feel like we're missing something. Ah, right. Poor Trudy. Anything else? Yeah, I think we're done here. Still have a nagging feeling we're missing something, but... Nothing's catching my eye. something We're sorry, Bulb. Trudy, the dog. If it helps, we don't think she suffered any. We brought back her collar, like you asked. Oh, Trudy. Never hurt no one in her life. Not unless they were asking for it, anyhow. <coughs> she was a 
sweet, good-hearted lady. And a hard worker. Yes, sir. I want to miss her something fierce. <laughs> Anyhow, thanks for bringing back her necklace. Can't run the machinery in the mine without them codes. <laughs> Damn them robots. Each and every one. I sure hope you gave them hell for old Trudy. You, uh... <coughs> you did get them all, didn't you? Yeah, we got them all. But now the mine is blocked by wreckage. <laughs> Ain't no pile of scrap metal gonna stop old Bo, no sir. I got just the thing to clear that mess out. <laughs> Have that mine going again in no time. You wait and see. Sure is a relief not to have them dang robots taking my ore. Been a thorn in my side for a long time. And I'm grateful for your help. <coughs> <coughs> You're fine folk. Yes, sir. Real salt of the earth. <coughs> Helping a poor old man around and asking nothing in return. Maybe there's some hope for this wasted world after all. Y'all come back anytime here. <laughs> oh, really? Glad to see you. Yeah, I mean, I I was kind of hoping for a reward, but um, I guess I didn't really strong arm him for one. Well. That's fine. Being a good guy sometimes means missing out on the odd reward, I suppose. And we did get some nice stuff in there. In fact, let's see if we can go max out Lucia's barter score. Actually, what have we got in her utility slot? Monocle, right? We have enough points to max that out without the trinket which would free up her utility slot for something more useful. Yeah, what the heck. Let's go for it. Not like she has any other high-priority skills, anyway. And this way we won't have to worry about fussing with her utility slot every time we go shopping. There we go. One more skill maxed. One less thing to worry about. Ooh, and it looks like Longway has attribute points to burn. We've pretty much maxed out all the really important stuff, so I suppose we'll just start balancing him out a little. We'll go ahead and bump his speed. All right, well, uh... Fighting those Martians didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would. Let's head back to Colorado Springs and um, we'll hand this head off to Gary. Oh, yeah, okay. We'll head straight south to Colorado Springs, and that should finish establishing our perimeter around Denver.
a gang of scar collector slave takers is closing in on a small farm. If you're quick, you could catch them unawares. Well, shoot. You know, I did tell myself I was going to start skipping these random encounters, but... The way they phrased it here, I'd feel kind of bad leaving those farmers to, um, their fate. Plus, I don't think we've ever actually fought Scar Collectors before. I suppose we'll take them out. You tiptoe into a perfect flanking position. The Scar Collectors don't even know you exist. Oh my. That's an awful lot of walking bombs. Though, that aside, it does look like it's mostly just cannon fodder. Plus the sniper up top. One sec. Okay, so, um, I believe our best approach here is to set up near that tower we saw on the left. I'll also say, while I think I did prefer the original designs for the Scar Collectors a little more, these guys still look pretty cool. The, uh, armless kamikaze thralls are particularly unsettling. All right, Team November. Do it to it. Oh, lovely. Let's pop that sniper. Goodness. <laughs> well, uh, let's keep the overkill going. Morning, Star. Level up. Congrats, doll. Okay, we've still got a couple of walking bombs out there. Let's get them trimmed before the pet pals move in. up a bit closer. There we go. Fall back. Uh, 
And let's trim those last two. That worked out. Yeah, I think we got this. Nicely done, Rangers. Liver box. So these guys can actually drop usable cybernetic implants. I did not know that. Adrenal Enhancer. Plus one combat speed. Wow. I have got to say, um, I wasn't expecting much out of this fight, uh, and we did clear it pretty quickly. But now that I know these guys can actually drop high-value cybernetic implants, I am uh, very glad we made the detour. Oh, also we saved some farmers or something. Cool. That, uh, that actually sounded pretty reasonable. Not bad, Saul. The worst thing about robots is it's hard to tell if they're active or not until it's too late. It's too late. Is it, though? I think we can just skip this one. You pile into the Kodiak and drive up an icy hill. The robot's metal feet have difficulty getting purchase on the slick slope, and you quickly leave them behind. Anyway, as you can see, just doing some quick sightseeing on the way back to Colorado Springs. To our left, you can see the 
Cathedral of Holy Detonation. Based uh, loosely on the Air Force Training Academy in Colorado. Sadly cut in the current build, but I'd actually give it pretty good odds of being added back in at some point. That should not, of course, be uh, confused with the Peterson Air Force Base, which is where we're set up. All right, all right. Let's go have a quick chat with Gary and see where we stand with this whole synth hunt. Yeah? We found a synth named Earl. Him and his robot crew were trying to take over a mine. Can you imagine what would have happened if they took those resources? It could have created thousands of robots. It'd be a goddamn robot roach apocalypse. Good work, Rangers. Keep at it. Why, thank you. So what's that leave us with? One more? Oh, it's not... I guess it's not actually a tracked quest. Okay. Well, that's fine. We can just ask. Yeah? Pay attention this time. Okay, so there is just one more. And it looks like it's in or around Denver. Great. So, how you doing? Like you care. What do you want? Cool. Good talk. The more time you take, the stronger they'll be. Get to it. Feels wrong killing a man who helped us out back in the day. Well, he was a crook. Who? Oh. oh, Brigo. Okay, yeah. Hey, you got a cigarette? Oh, hey. What's a man I gotta do to get a drink around here? I still need a cigarette. Oh, God! Why are you so awful? I see someone has continued filling our base with cats. I approve. A plaque is fixed to the base of this holographic projector. Fishlips, the cannibal leader of the Hardheads, defeated by Team November. One less thing for the people of Denver to fear. Yeah, sorry about that, Fishlips. Who knows, in another world we might have been friends if you weren't a gross cannibal with a bunch of fish hooks in your face. First, we get out of these cells, then we dress ourselves as refugees and ask for... Wait a second, wait a second, go back. Go back? Yeah, uh, back to the, uh, first we break out of these cells part. What about it? Well, how do we do it? I'm working on that, but I've got the rest all figured out. <laughs> oh, you guys. A couple of cards is what you are. A couple of murderous, razor-edged cards. Did I have a bottle just now? Hey, what's wrong with everyone? We're still partying, right? Fuck off. Woo! Party! I respect your loyalty to the old man. I admire it. He's had no greater friend than you. Uh-huh. And? And he's dying, Sergei. You know it, and so does everybody else. It's past time to think about what comes next. Who comes next? You? Me? Hardly. Nobody's ever wanted to follow me. 
I'm not making any suggestions either. That would be treason, wouldn't it? For starters. All I'm saying is start planning. Colorado can't return to what it was. You of all people know that. Yeah. Interesting. And that is exactly why I do these little jaunts around the base. There's a lot of uh, intriguing lore and commentary that they hide in the banter dialogue. It is odd that you can't really bring these major things up with either of them yourself, but it is nice to at least hear them talking about it. At any rate, um, a bit of a slower episode today, but uh, we did clear the Tellurium Mines. We uh, had our first encounter with the Scar Collectors, found a few nice little upgrades for ourselves. So I think that brings us to a good breaking point. We'll hit the pause button for now. I will uh, get our inventory under control and take a look at our level up options. And we will pick up here next time as we set our sights on Denver. We'll clear the area around it, then hit the big city itself. See you then. Oh, and remember, although I do love playing Wasteland 3, you can find out more about the game by visiting the official website the official YouTube and Twitch channels, the official social media feeds, or the official store pages. As always, links are in the description.